Caffeine acts as a vasoconstrictor. That's a fancy way of saying it narrows the blood veins in your brain. So when you've been taking caffeine for a long period of time and then you stop, your body has gotten used to the caffeine stimulus. So if you take it away, your body is going to introduce the rebound effect. Because it's been so used to being pushed back, then now it's going to push back even harder because it is not meeting that same resistance. This will lead to those blood, those blood vessels expanding to a more open position, which will then put pressure on your brain, leading to that common caffeine fatigue headache that is painful. One of the other things that happens in caffeine withdrawal is that because your body has spent so much time building up new uh, adenosine receptors, which I meant to, mentioned in a previous video, then now when the caffeine is taken out and no longer blocking those receptors, then more adenosine is able to rush in and fill those open receptors. And now there's more. That leads to that feeling of fatigue and grogginess because now adenosine is more readily available to be consumed and taken up. This is because our body is very good at regulating itself and looking for balance. Now, over time, these receptors will go away because your body will recognize that they're excessive. So, that's a little bit of information on caffeine withdrawal. And if you have more caffeine-related questions, let me know. Or any other psychology, or any other psychology questions, let me know.